Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do an FAQ on the Realme One. So Oppo's Realme One is the latest uh, smartphone announced uh, under the Realme branding, and the Realme One is a power pack device in terms of the hardware. So in this video, we'll uh, try to answer a lot of questions you have been getting on this device. So first up, let's have a look at the specifications. It has 5.99 inch Full HD Plus resolution display. It's powered by the Helio P60 Octa-Core chipset. Comes in 3, 4, and 6 GB RAM, and uh, this has uh, a 13 megapixel rear camera, 8 megapixel front camera, 3000 mAh, 3410 mAh capacity battery. Android Oreo out of the box and Color OS 5.0. So that's the uh, quick specifications of this device. Now let's get started with the FAQ. So first up, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So we have installed uh, the sensors app and you can see that it comes with all the sensors. Uh, accelerometer, magnetic sensor, orientation, gyroscope, light, proximity sensor. So all the sensors are basically installed on this device. So you don't have to worry about uh, any missing sensor except for the fingerprint scanner which is missing uh, on this device. Now talking about the display, so it comes with a 5.99 inch Full HD plus resolution display and the display quality as such is pretty good. You can see that uh, the viewing angles are also quite uh, okay, uh, but the brightness levels could have been a tad better, especially when using uh, in extreme uh, uh, sunlight. Uh, otherwise, it's a quite a good display and uh, there is no Gorilla Glass protection offered on this display, uh, uh, but uh, there is a pre-installed screen guard available on this uh, device. Now next step, let's talk about the SIM card. So we'll uh, just take out the SIM tray and uh, show you the SIM cards. So this device comes with uh, a dedicated uh, SD card slot. So you can see here two SIM card slots and a dedicated SD card slot, which can be expanded up to 128 GB. So that's quite good uh, option from Realme One. Now so regarding Volti support, as this device comes with uh, uh, support for 4G and Volti, so you can use your Geo SIM cards without any issues. Now talking about the storage, so this device comes in three variants, 3GB uh, uh, RAM with 32GB storage, 4GB RAM with 64GB storage and 6GB RAM with 128GB of storage. So there is plenty of storage in on offer and uh, this is probably the first smartphone uh, in the sub 15k price segment to come with 128GB of storage. Now uh, the fingerprint scanner is definitely one of the missing aspect on this device so you can see that there is no fingerprint scanner instead it comes with a face unlock functionality it's quite a fast we have also done a detailed video on the face unlock functionality of this device. Now the software this device comes with a uh, color OS so we'll just go to the software option so about phone so you can see that color OS 5.0 is the version and Android 8.1 Oreo is the Android version. So uh, software wise uh, this is uh, quite good if you are looking for a, a UI which has lots of features to offer including dual app support uh, we have themes to customize then um, app uh, split screen gaming acceleration mode and a uh, few other options uh, for uh, like navigation key customization gestures so it's, it's a customizable ui with a lot of additional features so if you are a person who loves this uh, ui this is quite a good uh, software now uh, looking at the processor this comes with uh, the helio p60 octa core chipset which is one of the really powerful chipsets in this price segment so we'll just uh, show you the benchmark score of this device so helio p60 is one of the really powerful chipset and this comes with uh, even 6 gigabyte ram making it one of the really uh, performing chipsets in this price segment so that's the benchmark score for the helio p60 and uh, talking about the gaming experience we also done a detailed gaming video uh, the gaming performance looks pretty good uh, while uh, there is some uh, minor heating happening up to 46 degrees uh, uh, the overall gaming performance looks pretty good now next up the battery so this device comes with 3410 mAh capacity battery and uh, we, we can't really know uh, how much uh, the screen on time on this device uh, but uh, on a moderate usage you can get slightly above a day with the 3410 mAh capacity battery that should be quite good enough for most uh, users and uh, this device does not come with fast charging support so there is no fast charging included on this device. Now the charging time is around uh, 2 hours uh, slightly about 2 hours that's what we noticed with the fast charger. So next up, let's talk about the speaker performance. The so speaker is mounted at the bottom panel. So we'll just play a video from our channel uh, to show you how the speaker performance is. Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. So that's the speaker. It's uh, Quite loud enough but not the loudest out there in terms of the overall output but uh, quite a decent job uh, it does uh, with the speakers. Now talking about the LED notification light so this device does not feature any LED notification very similar to the Oppo F7. 
now usb otg as this device supports usb otg out of the box so uh, you need to go to the additional settings and you can see the otg connection you can just enable this otg connection and you can connect your computer peripherals like keyboard mouse uh, usb uh, storage uh, of uh, and drives uh, to this device so make sure you turn on the otg support uh, from the additional settings available so this device has micro usb uh, slot so make sure your otg cable is also micro usb now uh, next step are uh, the pricing so this device comes in three variants uh, the primary variant the 3 gb ram and 32 gb storage is priced 899 uh, the 4 gb ram and 64 gb storage is priced uh, a uh, 10 triple line and the 36 gigabyte ram and 120 gigs of storage is priced 13 triple line and this will be available exclusively on amazon so we'll leave the link in the description of this video in case you plan to buy this device now finally the camera performance so we also done a detailed camera review so you can check out that video so the camera performance looks quite okay it might not be the best out there but it is kind of satisfactory performance uh, in this price segment considering that uh, the pricing starts at 9k that is quite good performance all around so that was the detailed FAQ on the uh, Realme uh, 1 by Oppo. So hope you have answered most of your questions. If you still have any question, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So this is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.